everybody, Doc Jones with a new episode of Small Nuggets Big Change. First thing, thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. We really appreciate it. Craig and I have designed this project to offer people small little bits of advice or nuggets to make big changes in their life. You can help us further by taking the time now to subscribe, rate, and review. And also check out our other podcasts, Cutting the Crap with Shap with Craig Shapiro and Seeing to Lead with me. Now, on to the prompt. Slow down to go fast. You're at the pool. You want to get in the pool, but there's stuff on it. There's stuff on the bottom, so you're going to skim it. You skim the pool or start skimming it or start vacuuming it, and you're going fast because you want to make sure you get that done. Have you ever noticed you going fast? You push all the stuff out of the way. When you slow down, you get more stuff in the net and in the vacuum. That's much like life. We try to multitask often. We even brag about being able to. Guess what? There's no such thing. There's rapid task switching where you go from task to task to task that actually slows you down because you have to change your brain and reset for what you're doing. You ruin any chance of getting into the state of flow. So what you need to do is focus on one thing at a time. Look at your to-do list and then don't try to do a bunch of things at once. Do one thing at a time. What you find happens is that you get things done quicker because you don't have to switch back and forth so many times and everything's a better quality. Why? Because you can put 100% into it all of yourself. Think about the last time you were trying to type something or write something when somebody was talking to you. How much of what they said did you actually hear? Yeah, exactly. So look, here's how you do this because it's simple, but it's not easy to do this. It's kind of scary because you think you're going to fall behind. Look at your to-do list. Prioritize them. Something's got to be more important than the other one, and then focus on that beginning to end, complete it, and you'll find that once you do that and go to another one, and then go to another one after you complete them, you actually get things done quicker, and they're of better quality because you focused on them. Now, what about long-term goals? Well, Take your calendar. Block off time every day to do this. Make sure that you have focus time in your calendar where you can focus on these priorities and get them done. If it's during the course of the day and you find yourself running a little short on time, set a timer. Start at the beginning, go to the end. I personally use a timer on my phone. I set it and then I follow it. My calendar, I block time. I have time set aside for certain task completion. So remember, slow down, you'll go faster, and your output will be even better. What beats that? I know, again, this may seem scary, may seem difficult, but Craig and I are proud of you. We know you can do it because you are awesome. Hi, everyone. It's Craig. Thank you so much for supporting Dr. Jones and myself in Small Nuggets, Big Change. We are super appreciative of all of your help and feedback. As I've stated before, and so is Dr. Jones, please subscribe to our podcast. Mine is Cutting the Crap with Shap, and Dr. Jones is Seeing to Lead. That's how the channels grow. We'd also love to hear your comments, suggestions. If there's topics that you'd like us to cover, please let us know, and we'd be happy to do that. So today, Dr. Jones put out to me, slow down to go fast, okay? And we kind of do this with each other, trying to figure out if we can trick each other. For me, when I hear slow down to go fast, I always think for myself about my journey in wellness and fitness and teaching. And I'll say to people that I coach and students that I teach many, many times, slow down. Don't rush the process. And that's really critical throughout so many parts of life because we tend to just be impatient. We want things to happen now. And it's understandable. That's just many times how we think. I know I do. But I've also realized that by slowing down, there are so many opportunities that get created that I would have missed if I would have just rushed the process. And it's something, again, that I say to students all the time, just enjoy the moment. Give yourself time to get really good at something. Enjoy the process. Get lots of feedback from others. And at all costs, don't be so hard on yourselves. And that, I think, is what happens when we tend 
to go so fast without slowing down. Yes, there might be some initial success. I think that happens sometimes. But then we kind of hit a wall and we get frustrated. And at that point, it's really hard to slow down because you almost have to go back to the beginning. So my quick, uh, I guess a few tips are this. First of all, have goals that you know are going to be attainable, whatever they are. Number two, if you're not sure of something, like let's say you, you have a goal in mind and you're not sure how to achieve it, ask somebody for help. There's nothing wrong with that. And I would say for number three, and what I consider to be the most critical part is enjoy the process. Take time to take a breath, whatever you're trying to do, and enjoy the moments. Enjoy those small little bits of success that you're having because that makes going slow so much more enjoyable than rushing into things and feeling like everything has to be done now. So that's it for me. I cannot wait to hear what Dr. Jones has to say. Again, please subscribe to our channels. Thank you again for all your support. We really, really do appreciate it. Have an excellent day and you are awesome. Hey everybody, Doc Jones here with a wrap up to the episode of Slow Down to Go Fast. Thanks for taking the time to tune in. I really appreciate it. Look, you know, when I listened to Craig's response and then thought about what I had said with the swimming pool, we are so on point with that, and I just love what he has to say. He even makes a better point than I ever could. He talks about three steps. He talks about the idea of setting achievable goals, getting help with those goals if you need, and, tr and enjoying the process. Now, look, the process. Enjoy the process. Whoever thought they might enjoy the process or the grind, as some athletes put it, when they're trying to attain a certain goal and they're really working hard. But that's the most important thing. Think about the last time you or somebody you're close to looked at somebody that had a high level of success. They were just really achieving at a higher level or they became famous and everybody goes, oh my God, I wish I was that lucky or oh, I wish I had that talent. What they don't realize is the process that people have gone through to attain that. The everyday work, the everyday sacrifices and the everyday process that finally brought them to a point that once looked back on, it seemed like everything happened just the way it was supposed to. And we as observers don't see that. So in our own lives, what we need to do is set up processes to get to goals. If we have a goal we want to hit, we have to break it down. And I mean break it down. If you have something you want to hit in six months, break it down monthly. Then break down the months into daily habits that you create because that's the process and when you get to the end and you reach that goal that's a great feeling but you've been changed for the better because of it because of that process there have been actual changes to you mentally physically because of those small steps they really matter and what happens is as we work we work we work we don't get the gains we want right away but then we if we stay to it before you know there start to be leaps and bounds because of that process. It's when we step away from the process, and Craig makes a great point of this, that we then have to backtrack and correct things. And if we do that too much, if we leave the process for too long, that backtracking and undoing things becomes really difficult. So remember, set those goals. Get help if you need, and then trust the process. Great points by Craig. And, and on that note, we want to thank you for taking the time to, to watch these, to tune into them. And don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review, not just this show, but Craig's podcast, Cutting the Crap with Shap, my podcast, Seeing to Lead. We really appreciate it. Now, before you leave, one last favor. I know I'm asking a lot, but before you leave, take the time and comment. Like this video wherever you hear it. Comment on it and give us some suggestions of things that you might want to hear or our take on some areas that you might be struggling with. And then we can all help each other get better together. Craig and I are both proud of you. We know you can do this because you are awesome.